Hello, and welcome to the Virginia Placement Test Prep Course, brought to you by TCC's CMVE. In this video, we're going to get an orientation to the course site and its content. First thing you'll notice when you enter the OM course site is that there is content in the middle of the screen, and then menus on the top and left side. We'll first discuss the menus available to you and how they'll be used. The menus available on the top and the left are messages, forums, calendar, and gradebook. Messaging system allows you to send a private message to anyone else enrolled in the course, including the course facilitators. If you know someone else in this course, friend or peer, you may send them a private message if they are enrolled. Click on messages, hit send new message, and select the person from the drop-down menu of recipients. Once you've typed your subject and message, hit send message to communicate with the other individual. We ask that you only use the messaging system for Virginia placement test study relating content. You may also send a message to myself, Professor Watts, or my colleague and co-developer and designer of this course, Professor Gill, to notify us that there is something wrong with the technical layout of the course. We'll not be sending content-related questions to the facilitators. But if there is something wrong with the course, you can send us a message to let us know, and we will get to fixing it. The forums are discussion boards that will be set up once the course is more established. Ideally, there will be a link from each question in a learning module that you may post, post to a forum saying you're having difficulty with that question and then other people in the course, or if we get added teaching assistance, will answer those questions. In general, you won't be clicking directly on forums, uh, but we'll see forum posts from your home menu, and you may answer other students' questions from those links, or you uh, may just directly post to the forum from questions and assignments. Calendar is used more for a traditional course with a set beginning and end and set due dates uniform for all students. Since this course is scheduled differently for each individual, we will not be using the calendar for this course. Gradebook will list all of your graded assignments and will also be used differently than a standard course. We'll talk more about how to use the gradebook in the next video that talks about how the process for using the diagnostic tests work. Notice that if you are in one of the menus or within an assignment, to get back to the course, simply click on VPT Prep Course at the top. We'll now talk about the content in the middle of the course. This course is designed to help prepare you for the VPT which determines whether you get placed into developmental math or not. TCC currently has a developmental math sequence consisting of three courses, Math 1, Math 95, and MT 6 through 9, which are four one-credit courses typically taken in a one-semester block. Depending on your degree program, certificate, or pathway, and or transfer institution, you may need one, two, or all three of these courses. To be certain about which developmental courses you need for math, you should contact your TCC advisor. We have put together a document that has some general guidelines based on degree programs and pathways. Which developmental math courses do you need? So you can click on that for some guidance. Now, most of the content is within these three folders, and the basic way to open and close folders is to click on the little arrow on the left. Clicking once will expand the folder, clicking again will collapse it, allowing you to just look at the items that you want. 
within each course folder, there is a diagnostic test at the beginning and end, and learning objectives in the middle. The learning objectives are subfolders and may also be expanded or collapsed in the same way, clicking once to expand and clicking again to collapse. The way the course runs will be discussed in the next video. So here I just want to talk about how to get into an assignment and answer. To guide you through this, after you complete watching this video, please complete the Entering Answers in Ohm assignment. Let me give you a quick preview of that assignment. Any assignment in this course is a little symbol of a notebook and a pencil. Next to that is the name of the assignment and underline bold text. Entering Answers in Ohm is a direct link to the Entering Answers in Ohm assignment. Simply click on the name of the assignment to go in. On the left, you'll see a menu that shows all the questions in the assignment, and you can click and do them in any order. Typically, you want to do them in the order top to bottom, especially with the learning modules. But for best practices in using learning modules, see the next video. So clicking on Q2, I'm able to get to question two. And you'll notice that each question has one or more answer boxes where I type in my answer. Since much of this class involves arithmetic and algebra, this can pose a challenge to putting in answers. And there are two ways. You can learn to type in the syntax that is taught in this assignment, or often when you click in the answer box, there is a little yellow button that brings up a menu of buttons that allow you to put in special symbols such as fractions, exponents, and square roots. Using these buttons, I can type in the answer, then hit save, and it will translate it back into the math syntax that I could have typed in with the keyboard from the start. Once you learn some of the basics, you may not need to use the buttons. Feel free to just type in using symbols such as forward slash, SQRT, and the caret, uh, shift six on the keyboard. With any of these answers, make sure that you are looking at preview or hitting preview to see if the answer looks like what you want it to. If you spot something wrong with the answer, go back and make the necessary changes to get the answer to appear the way it should. Once you have your answers typed in the answer boxes, hit submit to submit your answer. If certain parts of the question have not been answered, you will see a pop-up box. Make sure you complete all parts that you are able to before hitting submit. If an answer or a part of an answer is correct, you will see a green box with a check mark. If it is blank or incorrect, you will see the red box with the X. Your score is now explained by the breakdown at the top and recorded on the left. By default, each question is worth one point. The total grade is given at the bottom as a fraction. If you would like to attempt again, most questions have three attempts. Simply make your next guess, and hit submit. When you submit your third attempt, you will no longer have a chance to submit again and you will be given the answers to the problem. At this point, your grade is stuck with the grade you have, except you may hit try another similar question. Now in the entering answers assignment, there may not be a lot of variation. 
Like these may be the exact same numbers I was given. But most of the assignments in this course make use of random number generators, and so you will have different numbers each time, thus the appearance of different problem, testing the same basic concept. So you will be able to reattempt the problem until you get it correct. Once you have a problem correct, you will not lose those points by getting it incorrect. So feel free to practice, practice, practice. Once all problems are done, you may exit out of an assignment at any time by clicking on BPT Prep Course to get back to the main page. Now, once you've determined where you need to start, keep in mind most people will start with Math 1, and where you need to finish, you may need to go to Math 95 or NT 6 through 9. Go ahead and proceed to watch the video at the beginning of the course that you're going into. That will discuss the structure of the course for Math 1, 95, or MT 6 through 9, as how, well as how the testing and learning and gradebook work. And thank you for making use of this great tool brought to you by TCC's CMBE.